Hello everyone. Um, my question to you guys, kind of like you know, honest opinion from all of you, or some of you, if you think if the U.S. is as great as they say it is. Well, the U.S. has done some very controversial things throughout its history that have caused um, some. Has caused many people to suffer so much in their life. I think he begins to question whether the government is like actually helping them or actually like trying to alienate them from becoming a part of their actual success. Um. So first, uh, I think uh, that the U.S. government is basically trying to like be sort of like the bad guy try to like play around with the people, not sort of try to help serve what their purpose is. And what I'll be discussing today, first I'll discuss some of the positive aspects of the US government. Secondly, I'll discuss some of the negative like criticisms that the US has gone throughout its history. And third, I'll discuss my personal experience with how I feel about the US government. So uh, let's start off with, um, according to J.R. Kiddings, uh, uh, with this book created, which is, what is how, what is that American says like about American politics? The author states that the uh, government is, a, is a, a ruling force that helps the people in order to advance in society. The government is placed in order to help people, in order to like gain economic prosperity, um, help them with education wise so we, we become more literate and become successful people for uh, future generations. And as, as we now know and see in today's contemporary uh, times, the US has done minimal to low, low efforts, try to help people to reach higher education and help with this ec like economic uh, diversity, I guess. So first, uh, why people have lost faith in the government? Well, first of all, uh, my first sub point would be that the government is basically spending too much money on military. Like, they're focusing too much on becoming like this aggressive country to be like the, I guess, like best in warfare, but not focusing on helping out people to educate them, give them like better opportunities. In, in their life, and you can see that uh, it's about 60% of the, uh, taxpayers' money goes to actually funding the military, while there's a minimal to like 20% that actually goes into social programs like fund schools or disability or stuff like that. Uh, secondly, the United States has become more literate, and the government is not doing anything good to help alleviate this pain. So according to an article by Statistic Brain, last published December 2nd, 2015, it states that 35 million Americans today are, are considered illiterate in this country. Uh, that's around 14% of this nation that is considered illiterate. Um, if you would compare it to like globally, uh, I would think it's, according to the same source, it's 775 million people around the world are considered illiterate who cannot read. Um, I find that hard to believe that this country really focuses more like on trying to be the defensive like um, type battle type person instead of focusing more on its people or because the people are the ones who give them the power to be in government. So now I've discussed some of the bad aspects about the government. Now I'll be talking about some of the positive things that the government has done throughout its history. Um, some of the positive aspects that uh, the U.S. has for today it could be that um, we actually have the opportunity to express our opinion in this country. 
it might not be to like a great extent, but we can actually voice our opinion. There's like mediums like NSNBC, Fox News that allows you to get a perspective on the government. Um, and secondly, the, um, the U.S. government has created more job opportunities than in other countries. Like, as we can see, for an example, it says the owner, Elon Musk, he started off from like the beginnings with literally almost nothing. He has big companies in order to help him finance his, his product, which is the electrical car. They denied him, and so he decided to start his own business, and now he's like a multi-millionaire right now for Tesla. And so now that I've discussed some of the negative and positive aspects of a country, now I'll discuss some my personal experience with the government. Um, personally, I don't really have like a positive connection with the government uh, for the reason being that when we I needed the help from the actual government, they chose to deny like my sort of like benefits. Like a simple story would like, be like when like my father was was injured for about a year and a half because he had a leg injury. He was out of work. He couldn't work any anything in jobs or anything. Um, doctor gave him disability, uh, but the disability decided to not pay him anything for the whole time being. So the only thing that we had to resort to was the actual lawsuit money that he got. So. And what I find it kind of funny, but kind of like it kind of angers me, is that once my father had found his job, like his current job right now, um, the actual EDD sent him a letter saying, "Congratulations, sir! You actually like they, they feel happy that you found your job." But what like, <laughs> um, what really like ticks us off is like, really, you're gonna tell us that after like after this whole year and a half that you've been denying us like no benefits, you've been literally. Uh, in the verge of like being like with no money and stuff like that. So uh, now that I've discussed my personal ex uh, personal experience, some of the positive and negative effects, uh, let's wrap things up. First, um, I talked about some of the negative aspects about uh, U the U.S. Secondly, I talked about some of the positive aspects, the negative aspects. Thirdly, I talked about my personal experience, and I want to leave you guys with this. Um, in the near future, where would you see the U.S. government? Do you see the government actually focusing more on the people, or just being the same way as today with corporate greed? Uh, thank you.